What's up ladies and gents, welcome to my second part covering Elite Dangerous. These videos are going to be coming out on a regular basis pretty much uh, from now on. This is something that I just want to continue on doing so they're not going to be coming fast. But every now and then I'll have a new video showing you guys something new, something different as I am just completely in love with this game. And I thought something really cool to show you guys off now would be some uh, landing on different planets. I think that would be something really cool. So it looks like we actually have a planet in the system that we can land on. So if you go over here to um, your location, you can see down here, you can tell right now we're at Azaban Orbital, just like where we left off from. So one thing that I didn't actually know from before is that if you accept some missions that they are time-based, and if you come back at uh, real world time base, so if you come back later, like I haven't played the game in a few days, so if you come back and the mission could be failed, and you could get a fine and different stuff like that, so that's something I definitely need to remember. There's, it's so cool how they do this. So if you look here, you can see that on Iranian 2, there is a landable planet. So we're going to access the surface, surface map here and take a look at it. We're going to travel to it. Uh, this is a planet that we are going to be able to land on. You can see that there is something called um, uh, Bordage Works. It is a federal bridge. It's independent. Uh, we can go there. So why don't we go ahead and select that. Uh, this is going to be like only the second time I've ever even attempted to land on a planet. So I apologize if it's very noobish. But it is something I, I definitely think that uh, everybody should see. So... We're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's go into our starport, make sure that we have plenty of fuel. Welcome to Azaban Orbital. We're pretty good on uh, the tank. We've got 11,000 credits. Let's go ahead and just refill all. And where you're going to see, each video is going to be showcasing something else. I'm really excited to finally get into some dogfighting maybe in the next video. So stay tuned for that as that's going to be real fun as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Still in the process of looking for the best HOTUS to uh, to get. So if you guys uh, who are Elite Dangerous fans out there know of the best throttle and joystick out there, let me know because this is something I really, really want to look into. So I just, I just love this. I mean, and also I can't wait to grab a to VR so I can actually play this in VR. You can also use the Toby Eye Tracker. I have the Toby Eye Tracker, so maybe one of these uh, videos I will show off how to use that so you can actually look around your cockpit by just moving your eyes, which is really cool as well. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. We already have uh, everything we pretty much need, so we're gonna go ahead and launch. Ship released, engines engaged. Again, I apologize if I screw anything up. It's been a few days since I played, but... Let's get into position, find out where this planet is. Look like it's probably on the other side of this here. So what's really cool is because the sun's not really facing this direction, so there's not a lot of light on the planet. But if you remember earlier, there was a lot of light. So if you look around, you can see where all the light is and how we're on like the back side of the planet and there's not as much light. But you can see that we need to go pretty much to the other side of this planet here. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into position. And start taking off here. Uh, we're in no need to get close right now. We just want to get out uh, away from mass lock, of course. We are finally away from Maslock, so let's take it down into the blue. Let's find out where this thing is. We're still plenty, plenty uh, ways away, but the cool thing about it is we're 398 light seconds, which would take us, this would take us above one year. If we were just to go like this, we would reach Bondage Works in a year. That is, to me, I don't know what it is, but it's just absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into pretty much our frame shift drive charging. frame shift drive ready to engage and then we'll make our way over there three two one engage all right so we are in frame shift frame shift for <laughs> i always i can't even say that right 
You can see the line right there from the planet, which means you don't want to obviously be anywhere near that. You can see where Bondage Works is as a band city. So once we pass this little line, that's the line of the planet, then we should be able to head to where we need to go. I'm still learning more and more about, uh, you know, keeping things like in the blue. Right now we're surrounding the planet. So because of that, we're not going to be able to go too fast until we leave kind of the planet's um, kind of like area of operations and stuff. So you can look around and see if you're anywhere near close to the planet. As you can see, we're pretty much getting further and further away, so we're going to be able to start speeding up here as well. Well, that's where Bondage Works is. But, uh, yeah, so that must be where the planet is as well. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit faster and faster. 350 kilometers a second. We can, let's see, we can move our stuff to engines over nine, two, three, four. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. It's getting, as you can see, the throttle is getting faster and faster as we start to pick up speed. Not really sure which, if engines is like how to get faster or if it's the other one. Now we're really picking up speed here, so that's cool. Again, this is going to be something I've only done it once and it wasn't very pretty, so I apologize if we end up really, really screwing this up, but I think it's really fun to show off. And any tips that you guys have out there that are experts at this, please let me know about it. Said once it gets down to about seven seconds, make sure it's in the blue. Again, I'm still a complete noob at it, so. I don't know, it looks like it's coming up pretty close on me. Alright, so our speed right now is good. Again, these experts will be able to obviously get there a lot quicker than myself. I, I do remember you guys saying something that if you're in your blue on your throttle, then you're pretty much good to go, but that seems like it's coming pretty fast. Until I get completely comfortable with it, you know, we'll take our time. All right, we're down to four light seconds. Here we go. So now the next question is, where is it on the planet? Are we facing it? Is it on the opposite side? Yes, it is on the opposite side of the planet, so... Because of that, and you can tell by the way that the bondage looks. As you can see, it's like a, a different shade, so we're actually going to overshoot it and come back around from the opposite side. We should be past it now, but we want to make sure we come back at it from a nice angle. So slow down. Oh, it looks like we're still not on the right side. Very tricky to figure out how to make sure that you're doing this correctly, you know?
Well, I mean, when it when it looks like that, that usually means that you're on the wrong side, so... I wish that there was a better way to um, figure out all of that stuff. Trying to get a little closer and closer. Not going too fast. Keeping it nice and simple. Love the music that's playing while we're doing this. There we go. I think we're starting to, to get there almost. We'll slow down a little bit. There we go. Now we are in business. Orbital flight engaged. All right, orbital flight. What that means is now we are inside its kind of the planet's area. We're still in pretty fast mode here. Really interesting stuff, people. Look at that shooting. Is that a shooting star? Could be a ship. And we're slowly going to make our descent as we're getting closer and closer. You can kind of make out, I guess, this little area down here. Huge impact craters all over this... this uh, moon planet whatever you want to call it I'm really I'm not sure if they just say these are moons or if they actually consider them planets again we have no specific mission to come out here this is just something that I wanted to show we're gonna start doing some missions uh, some bounty hunting missions and all that kind of stuff it's coming up very soon We are no longer in orbital cruise as we are entering kind of even closer and there we go glide engaged pretty cool stuff Alright, glide complete. We're coming out of that. Alright, so... Almost there. What is it? Once we get in 7.5 kilometers, that is when we need to request for landing and docking. So I'm guessing that 03 is this one, but there is two different ones that are lining up. Yep, here's three. 
So we're just kind of using our thrusters to get in front of it as opposed to being to the side. Go ahead and put our landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. like a glove <laughs> oh how fun is that people how fun is that wow ladies and gents we have done it we have landed on this planet now not all planets will have stations such as this so um, for instances what we could do now is deploy our SRV but instead of that let's just take a look at welcome to Bordage Works did I say bondage works <laughs> wow let's go ahead and refuel that was just like I don't know man that was so satisfying to be able to accomplish and to pull off I know it's the little things in life guys that really really do it for me you know um, this game was such has such a difficult steep curve to learn so just doing that right there just made me feel so good just you know um, obviously you know new missions and stuff different missions come up at different times salvage missions takes a while I guess for their pictures to pop up that almost looks like the same exact person just a younger version <laughs> massacre <laughs> Some noble ships. Alright, so we're not doing any missions in this. And it would be very, very easy for me just to go down here and um, show you guys the SRV. But I actually want to land on the planet. I wanted to show you guys landing on the planet. So we're going to go ahead and go to launch. And we're probably going to come right back here. But I just want to experience landing on a planet. It's a little bit more difficult to land on an actual planet, obviously, than to land in this. Because uh, the ground terrain, you know, there's all different kinds of... Well, always remember, you gotta make sure you got in the right view mode. Alright, so because this is a planet that we can just land on... Hello, shippy. It's going to come out here to just some place that hopefully will allow us to land. You need, you know, obviously good terrain. As you see, we're in a different mode now. But, as you can see, we, we this is not a good place to land. So you got to wait until you have... I'm not really 100% sure how it works, sir. Because we can, like, literally land right now you know I mean like uh, I'll show you guys so we can bring it down to zero and I'm literally on the planet surface right now however as you can see we're like kind of at uh, an angle so you can't really just land you have to there's certain like locations and spots that you have to do in order to be able to land perfectly you need that to be like in the blue or, or change color So right now we're just finding a smooth surface and once we find that we will we will land which it doesn't look like it's going to be right here. We just got some really really bad terrain right now. Lots of hills, steep things.
waiting for when that thing changes over to tell us that we're going to be good. And I'm looking right below my ship in the center. Once that changes color, that lets you know that you can actually land somewhere. And you could be, you could literally go around here, I guess, for a while trying to find a place where your ship says, you know, that it's on all equal ground. I think I did I see something there I thought I saw something bluish like maybe just a slight no Looks like this is harder than imagined, you know, just trying to find that. We might not actually be able to land anywhere around here. From the looks of it. I know it looks like you'd be able to and we can actually land, but in order to be able to release our SRV, um, you have to be, it has to go through the procedure of actually landing, which is totally different. You can see all kinds of other things like landing and being in the vicinity. So you think, oh, see, did you see that again? It, it, it like had like a little blue thing. That would be a negative. <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to find. Just a bunch of ships out here scanning. Oops. That takes a little bit of damage. But uh, again, just to show you guys that we, c I ourselves could actually land. We're going to bring ourselves down to zero. We're going to e even it out. And you'll see. Yeah, but as you'll see, it's where like at an angle, so that's why it doesn't. But it just doesn't look like there's any really solid places to land here. Uh, we can go around and search for others. But I'm just getting the same thing over and over, not really any... You would think, you know, being maybe, maybe it's I'm too close and it just doesn't want you to land this close to a space station. Could be it. But there's literally just no place to land here. Look at that big hill right there. That's crazy. All right, so what if we just go ahead and request, and I apologize that we weren't able to land here. Zero three it is. Let's go ahead and head there. So we're going to have to do a little turnaround. So we'll just take the uh, SRV out. Again, you can, yes, you can land on these planets, I assure you, but you have to find the, the proper angle to be able to do it, and you're not always going to be able to do it, depending on how rough the terrain is, of course, so keep that in mind. But we just had a little bit of bad luck here, I guess. Thank you, because I would have forgot.
All right, so we're gonna enter hangar and we're gonna go out in our SUV, SVU. <laughs> Wish I would have been able to actually find a place. I did one time on one planet, but like I said, you have to have perfect clear ground in order to be able to. It'll change a different color. So let's do this. And this is what you would do if you were just landing on the planet. You'd come out like this, just like we showed in the previous video at the very beginning. And then it changes your... Um, it changes... Uh, it changes like your controls a little bit. Whee! I just I, I never get bored of that. So where is this big? It's a big hill there. Where is the big big hill? There it is. So if we wanted to, we could literally go to this big hill. I don't know if we'd be able to get up it. I mean that's the question I guess. So, how could that ever get boring? But just imagine some future updates. Oh, we almost didn't bring that one around. Nice. Depending on the, um, the gravity, it'll be a little bit more difficult to... Okay, so before we end this video, I do want to come out here. We got a big cliff over here. Let's head to it. Let's just see how much fun we can have jumping off this thing. Now, again, you know, we could probably break break the ship. Uh, who knows what could happen? We could die. This is, seems like it's a huge jump, and uh, maybe if you got to do your thrusters correct, you know, to land a little better. But we're gonna give. We're not gonna go to the big one. Oh, should not have done that. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. All right, I gotta get there. We go. <laughs> All right, so this is a smaller little hill, but we're gonna jump it. Guess you got to look at fuel too. You can see it says 24, 25. Um, we should be good, I'm sure. I don't know how long you can stay out. So imagine yourself, you know, find yourself like this uh, amazing. Huge cliff, just dive off of, and just do flips after flips, and hope to God that you uh, you land. All right, so we're almost at the top of this. See, that slows you down a little bit, so you, I guess you don't take a lot of damage. Okay, so... Wow. Where in the hell are we? Alright. Nice! Got some good hang 10 there. Woo! Get some good drifting going on here. Alright, well guys, that's going to be it. We're going to head back. We are going to go ahead and request landing. Request boarding. Remember, we can land anywhere pretty much. Or we can board anywhere.
Holy shit. Um. Wow. What did I just do? So. Yeah. No clue that I was going to land up here. Uh oh. I'm trying, I'm trying to jump off here. But we're not making it. Oh, this is crazy. I don't even know what I'm going to be able to do to get at, to get out of here. Oh, thank God. Okay. Woo. <laughs> I don't know why for a second I thought that uh, I was going to be completely screwed there. All right. So let's just find a place to get in. All right. Here's one. All right, ladies and gents. <laughs> that's was crazy hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's absolutely amazing uh, playing this game and I just have fun every single time that I do um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again there's gonna be plenty more videos coming let me know what you would like to see me to do um, in the game we're gonna be doing us uh, you know all kinds of things videos will be rolling out every week and we're just going to have fun. Uh, this and Star Citizen. And of course, there's other games coming out that are really cool. Space Sims. Um, you've got E Valkyrie. I can't wait for that to come out. Everspace looks amazing. Uh, just all kinds of really cool space games for you guys out there that um, I'm excited to play and to do now that I'm switching over to full time. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm heading to Atlanta now so I can start searching for a home. Um, and of course, I will see you on the next video. Love you all. Peace out. Bitches.